Well, once again, deep pocket Brad Pitt got custody of his kids. Joint custody. After not allowing his children to testify against him in a court of law. Even though they have the right to in the state of California if they're over the age of 14. You know, this is one thing about Brad that I noticed. That when people don't want to be around him, he doesn't care. He still wants you to be around him. And he'll still meddle his way into your life. But... <laughs> He's really stupid because, um, I know I, I slapped the shit out of him <laughs> and he left and he, he hasn't been near me, you know, he, he was around me a few times, but to actually get close to me again, no, cause he knows that I'll beat the shit out of him. Um, and he's a coward. You know, my older stepbrother, George Bermudez Jr., popped him in the face. And that's where he gets that scar underneath his eye. So these kids are smart, and I hope the kids are listening. Next time you all get together and you have to be with him and you don't want to be with him and he starts his abusive shit and you call 911 and 911's not listening or calling you back because he's got them in his pocket... Like he had them in Taos, New Mexico, and in Florida, where I used to live, and shit used to happen to me, and he was behind it all, and he was in the courtroom when I was having my trial against the person who crippled me that was sent by them, and he was over there giving my attorney money. Since it's like a bunch of you kids, you all get together and beat the shit out of that son of a bitch. You teach him what domestic violence is. And you teach him what abuse is. So he won't hurt you no more. So let me tell you, five pissed off little kids can do you a lot more damage <laughs> to one sickly, old, geriatric, fragile man. <laughs> so don't be afraid to hurt him. Because uh, when they were trafficking me in Florida... They were abusing me. It was my stepfather, George Bermudez Sr. My stepbrother was filming it, George Bermudez Jr. And the disgusting illegal alien across the street, Mexican, named Jesus Rodriguez. And they were raping me and filming it to make more porn. And they had a knife on me. And I got a hold of their knife. And that shit stopped that day. They're cowards. So let's see what happens because, you know, maybe Laura Croft will teach her kids a couple of fancy moves. Brad has to realize that people don't want to be around him because he's a horrible person. And no level of pretty can make up for a horrible person. And I know he's desperate for those kids, but they don't want him. I know he's doing something to them. Because when I was a little girl, and my stepfather would go on trips, I was so happy. I was so happy when he was on a business trip, or he went to go visit someone in Puerto Rico. I was so happy. And when he started coming back home, Already my, my life was like, oh God, he's coming back. It was so bad that when I was seven years old, he had gone to Puerto Rico. And when he was on the flight back to New York, we were at the airport waiting for him. It was my mom and my sister and I think my little brother was born by then. <clears throat> and there was um, an accident, um, aircraft air accident, um, that we heard about at the airport. And it was in another airport somewhere, wasn't it, Kennedy? 
in New York, and um, the plane went down, and people died. And I was hoping so bad that it was his plane, that he had been on that plane, and that he had died on it, so that I would never have to see him again. But unfortunately, it wasn't his plane. But when you're a kid and you're abused, that's how you think. <coughs> and as you can tell from my coughing, that's how bad the abuse with this man was. That I was hoping that an accident would take his life so that he would not hurt me again and I could have a good life for the rest of my life. So, you know, Brad Pitt better be careful with what he asked for because them five kids, if he pisses them off and Laura Croft teaches them a few moves, <laughs> they're going to kick his ass. And they should kick his ass. I'm worried for those kids. Because I know what that coven does to kids. And half of those kids are not his. They're adopted. So that means they have no family. Except for the two of them. I don't know about Jolie's involvement. But I think if the kids were in that kind of danger, they would um, not want to be with her. But they don't want to be with him. <laughs> they do not want him. He doesn't get it that the reason why people don't want him is because he's such a creep. Because he's so selfish and he is so manipulative and conniving and so evil. And that's why people reject him. And he has to buy people to be around him. I know he was telling me that people didn't like him because of his looks. So he used to give them things to try to win them over. And I said, well, you can't blame people. Or get blamed for your looks. I mean, that's genetics. That's why they hate you. You know, that's the truth. And he took that quote, of course. I told him that. But he took it and ran with it. But, no, it's not because of his looks that people don't like him. It's because he is so evil. And he hurts people. And, you know... I just hope they're not doing anything to those kids like they did to me. But I'm hoping those kids, they seem like they all got along together. And they have a united front. So I hope those kids, when next time he does a domestic violence abuse, whether it be physical, verbal, emotional, psychological, sexual, whatever kind of abuse it is that he does to them, I hope they get together and beat the fuck out of him. So... Give it a thumbs up, um, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't, hit that notification bell and share, share, share so that there's not one more victim of human trafficking. I'm sorry about the rant. I'm just really pissed off to see that children are being put in danger and not given the opportunity to speak. I'm going to post the link down below in the description box of the article. Thank you.